A Hamilton County church is using their platform in the community to fight against inequality. Thanks for joining us here at 11 o'clock. I'm Nicole Griffin. Recent protests over social injustice have led I-Town Church and Fishers to use ministry to educate and help their congregation to act as allies in the fight for change. WRTV's Troy Washington has this story. We recently, all of us as a nation, have become more aware and more focused on the fact that we live in a culture that truly isn't as equal as we'd like to believe that it is. But being a part of the solution is more than just saying things, it's about doing things. That thought alone is what led Pastor Dave and Kate Summerall to dedicate an entire series. Divided we fall, we're in this thing together and this thing is called life. To the cause of breaking the cycle. Generationally, we have to break that cycle, especially as parents and the different things that have obviously been ingrained in the children in the homes that create the imbalance racially that we see in the culture around us. This church is trying to get to the root of the real problem plaguing America. As we began to look across the landscape of our own church, we didn't have the diversity that would really reflect what heaven should look like. And so we began to systematically make changes that just very intentionally represent everybody from every culture and background so that everyone feels equally loved and celebrated. It's a topic some church leaders have been shy about touching, but I-Town Church thinks the discussion is necessary to make sure progress prevails. As we began to examine not just American culture, but church culture, we realized that there are some things that just give certain people advantages. And unfortunately, some of those advantages come simply because of the color of their skin. The series is about embracing our differences instead of using them to tear one another down. Every single race has just different backgrounds, different perspectives and different stories. These two say it's important for us to acknowledge when we haven't walked in someone else's shoes. I think one of the reasons why it's so important that we address this is because white people don't understand in America what it means to be a minority. We've never had that experience. And so what this environment has created is the opportunity for us to have conversations. That's one of the first thing we did. And the importance of acting as an ally. I believe that heaven is going to be full of that uh, diversity. I believe the body of Christ should be full of that diversity. Because there's nothing better than just having an advocate in your life. And so, you know, just like if there's a child being bullied, no matter the color of their skin, I want my children to come alongside that person. And our nation desperately needs healing and we desperately need change. Working for you and Fishers, Troy Washington. WRTV.